What's up, YouTube? This is Elijah here, coming at you with another video from the uberlifestyle.com. Your one-stop shop for all things rideshare and delivery alike. Now, you're probably wondering, this isn't my typical type of video, no editing, just right on the raw, but it is. Actually, some is needed right now, so that there's no time for any of that. A few of y'all have reached out to me, and y'all have told me that y'all have had some issues with the Uber sign-up process. With all y'all having this common issue, the same. Uber is not taking your insurance. Now, um, I've done some research, and from personal experience, there's some kind of glitch going on, so um, nine times out of 10, your insurance is fine. But uh, for instance, it's about a few weeks ago when it's time for me to switch out my insurance before it expired. And the first three times I took a picture of it and submitted it, it uh, got rejected. I was wondering why. But um, it is a glitch that is going on for whatever reason. So like I said, you're probably fine. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you three things that you could do in order to counter this thing so you can get your insurance to Uber and go ahead and get on the road. Because I know how it is to be anxious about getting this started, but you can't. So before we get into those three things, first thing you want to make sure is, you know, you clean your lens on your phone, take the picture, and that the whole insurance card is showing just in case that might be the issue. Because that can actually hold it up. They do need to see all the information on the card. Second thing, I don't know why it's a thing, but it is. If you're taking the picture horizontally, it might not go through. You might need to take it vertically and make sure the whole um, picture is showing. Why is that? I don't know. But uh, that was literally what caused my insurance to go through when I took it vertically. I don't know. So you want to make sure that um, that's taken care of. But if you're still having issues, let's get into the three things that um, can be done. So the first choice is to actually email Uber. But believe it or not, they fully integrated their email system into their app. So there isn't a viable email address around, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that one altogether because it's like combined into the second method. The second method is to actually message Uber within the app. Once you've completed everything else in your sign-up process, you should have access to the Uber app. You just can't go online because you don't have insurance on file. So that means you have access to the in-app messaging. So you can follow the instructions on the screen that's about to pop up to figure out how to do that. The first thing you want to do is open your Uber app up and click on the account button. From the account button, you want to click on help. After you click on help, you want to click on account and payment. From account and payment, you click on changing account settings. Once you're there, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. It's going to have, a, I have another account issue. Click on that, and this is a place where you can let Uber know the issue you're having with your insurance card. Let them know that the system is glitching for whatever reason it's not taking your insurance and you would like to send it another way, whether it's in-app messaging or email, etc., and they'll get back with you. The third option is actually visit the Greenlight Hub and have them just take care of it for you in the sense that you'll be talking to a, a person that can help you with the whole process. This uh, option is a, uh, it may not be an option for everyone, but most cities that Uber operates in does have a green light hub. It's just a matter of finding the right address to pay a visit to. So how do you find the address? There's two ways. You can Google Uber green light hub and then your city, and it should pop up in Google. Or you can actually type in uh, www.uber.com slash drive slash your city slash contact. So for instance, for me, and you can um, click on the link in the description, it's www.uber.com slash drive slash Dallas slash contact. Now, if you click on that link below, then you could just replace Dallas with your city. So let's say you're Houston or San Francisco, San Diego, etc. You would just place, replace Dallas in that URL with San Francisco, San Diego, etc. No dashes, no spaces. And that'll take you to your personal green light hub, not personal, but your city's green light hub or hubs and the addresses of the closest one that you will pop up because uh, most cities obviously have more than one. That's how you tackle this uh, issue that's going around. I'd like, I'd tell you don't worry too much about it because it is something that's affecting everyone. So it should be taken care of pretty soon. But in the meantime, these are the things you could do to um, get on the road and get your insurance on file with Uber. If y'all have any questions, you know, leave them below and feel free to reach out to me. This is Elijah. Peace out.